Dear learners, welcome to the new session on web technology. Today we will discuss JavaScript cookies and store cookies. I am Anurag Bhatt, Assistant Director, Computer IT, Uttarakhand Open University, Haldwani. In today's session, our learning objectives are JavaScript cookies, how cookies work, overall working and functionality of cookie and store cookies. Now, what are JavaScript cookies? Web browsers and servers communicate using the HTTP protocol, Hypertext Transfer Protocol. HTTP is a stateless protocol. However, commercial websites need to manage session information between different pages. So here we have an example. Suppose a user requests to a particular uh, database or particular web uh, website, then in the response, uh, response plus cookie is provided to the user and then now user will request again with that particular cookie to the main server. For example, user registration ends after completing several pages, but how to manage user session information in every website? So the main task is to manage user session information each time he or she visits every website. So here we have this HTTPS request www.website.com. Suppose we are having some example. Then if uh, it gives request HTTP request and then first party is the server and then the requested component is displayed over the uh, screen. Then again, HTTP request is there and then third party server is requested again, which assign some ID and then this tracking cookie is provided to the uh, assigned ID. Then the requested co uh, content is displayed on the screen. So here we have elaborated through a diagram that how JavaScript cookies is registered and it is provided uh, as a tracking cookie. Using cookies is often the most efficient way to store and track preferences, purchases, commissions and other information necessary to provide a better visitor experience and site statistics. So using cookies uh, is considered as an efficient way to store and track the preferences, purchases, commissions and other information necessary to provide a better, better visitor experience and site statistics. Now here we are having uh, a web browser and it is con contacting with first party web server and provides uh, which provides its access to various functionalities and web browser is displayed, displaying some of the content which is requested. So here it is adapted or helped by the third party web server also. So this diagram is elaborating the functioning of first party web server and third party web server in the contact with web browser. Here again we discuss that the user request from the server and then it is it gets response with the addition of a cookie and then this assigned cookie is uh, used with the next request from user to the uh, database or server. Now how cookies work? The server sends some data to the visitor's browser in the form of cookies. Your browser can accept her cookies in this case, the visitor's hard drive is stored as a plain text record. So here we are displaying some of the web browsers that is Safari from Apple, Firefox by Mozilla, Chrome from Google, Edge from Microsoft and Opera from the uh, uh, company. How cookies work? Now, when a visitor lands on another page of a website, the browser will send and retrieve the same or cookie to the server. After fetching, the server will know, remember what was previously saved. 
so it saved the the personal informations or other informations to uh, to make the visitor experience better so this diagram is used that cookies has a worldwide acceptance that is e-commerce websites is using is using cookies business websites portfolio websites media websites than non-profit websites educational websites so these all are the uh, environment in which cookies are used cookies were originally designed for cgi programming the data contained in the cookie is automatically sent between the web browser and the web server allowing his cgi scripts on the server to read and write the cookie values stored on the client so here we are having this uh, so many websites uh, the overall usages or the use pattern of overall websites uh, just have a glance uh, by the use of cookies we are able to communicate to the various websites and solves our daily life questions and uh, overall applications here cookies revisited we are having a quick look again over the cookies cookies are the small pieces of information data that a website web server sends to your browser so it can be stored in your computer's hard disk the next time you make another request on the same website your browser sends the cookie along with the request so that the website can identify you overall experience of the visitor is enhanced by the use of cookies cookies are data stored in small text files on your computer when a web server has sent a web page to a browser the connection is shut down and the server forgets everything about the user so it is the basic application or basic uh, knowledge that when a web server has sent a web page to the browser the connection is shut down and the server forgets everything about the user which site is requested which information requested by the user so the cookies were deliberately invented to solve the problem how to remember information about the user so that the information about that particular user is retained with the server so cookies are used for this particular purpose when a user visits a web page his or her name can be stored in a cookie next time the user visits the page the cookie remembers his or her name so cookies are same uh, saved in a name value pairs so name as well as followed by its value and the pair name value like username equals to alex parera so this is the username called alex parera it is saved when a browser request a web page from a server cookies belonging to the page are added to the request this way the server gets the necessary data to remember that information about the users here to create a cookie with javascript so javascript can create read and delete cookies with the document dot cookie property so in red color we have highlighted the property which is used to create cookies the document dot cookie property with the javascript a cookie can be created like this document dot cookie equals to username equals to alex pereira like we used in the previous example so here in double quotes we provide username equals to alex pereira you can have any any username of your own so uh, you can also add an expiry date in utc time by default the cookie is deleted when the browser is closed document dot cookie equals to in uh, double quotes we have username equals to alex parira which we have discussed earlier also uh, followed by semicolon then expires equals to wednesday comma 02 august 2023 12 is the time and utc is the coding and here the double quotes is closed followed by the semicolon with the path parameter you can tell the browser what path the cookies belongs to by default the cookie belongs to the current page 
So, whenever uh, we are not providing any path, it is by default the cookie belongs to the current page on which we are working or we are considering. Document dot cookie equals to uh, in double quotes we have username equals to Alex Pereira then expires uh, equals to Wednesday uh, 2 August 2023 uh, 12 and then UTC. Now we can provide the after the semicolon we can provide the path path equals to then backslash and uh, we can provide path and then semicolon is uh, followed by the double quotes and then semicolon. Here we discuss how cookies work. So JavaScript can also manipulate cookies using the cookie property of the document object. JavaScript can read, create, modify and delete cookies that apply to the current website. This is the uh, pictorial representation of how cookies work. So here we are providing the browser uh, every subsequent requ request to the same website. So a session ID is created for every request that is called session ID equals to 456485. For example, we are providing this session ID. Then it is going from browser to the server. Now server replies, I know you. Then server uh, replies uh, of the same session ID that uh, session ID equals to 456485 here as an example and this is having a piece of information or data and then responds uh, server responds uh, towards the browser. So this uh, the point here is session ID is providing what kind of a request and what the request is all about and it will be giving the output as a piece of information or data from server to the browser. Now we discuss store cookies. A cookie is a piece of information held between the server side and the client side. Web browsers store this information as you browse. Let's again discuss uh, whenever we provide a login and then uh, it is going to the server, the server is uh, storing the session and in response it is giving the saved cookie as response with session ID. Then request with cookie from the uh, client to the server, then check session, session is checked and in response to that particular request which was come with a cookie, a response is generated from server to the client or the browser. A cookie contains information as a string usually in the form of name value pairs. So it is uh, always in a form of name and value that is separated by semicolons. Maintain your status and remember your information across all websites. So here we have so many options uh, that is uh, to store cookie. Uh, this is providing the some options of the uh, option 1, option 2, option 3, option 4 and option 5. So, so many options are there. Now, the easiest way to create a cookie is to give the document.cookie object a string value like this. So, we have to, pro uh, we have to provide document.cookie object some value. Here, document.cookie equals to uh, we have to provide key and value pairs. So first in the uh, double quotes we provide key 1 equals to value 1 followed by the semicolons key 2 equals to value 2 and so on. After the last semicolon we provide expires equals to date. So it will be giving the expiry date of the cookie. Same uh, Double quotes is closed and then semicolon is uh, provided. The expires attribute is optional here. If you specify a valid date or time for this attribute, the cookie will expire on the specified date or time, after which the cookie value will no longer be accessible. So it is totally an optional uh, value here. The expired attributes is optional. We can use or we cannot use. We, sh we, we may use or we may not use. It is totally depending on the programmer. Now, like. Uh, we have previously also discussed that this is the uh, from browser to the server the request is coming from the client that is browser and it is going towards the server then server is providing the response as well as a cookie 
with the session ID and then this uh, browser again request with a cookie and then its request is expected uh, accepted and it will be provided the output as desired. So cookies values cannot contain semicolons, commas or spaces. Therefore, you must encode the value using the JavaScript escape functions before storing it in the cookie. If you do this, you should also use the appropriate unescape function when reading the cookie value. So here, uh, cookie enabled page request, server sets cookie in the second step and then other page request. So in the first point, cookie enabled web uh, page request, user access index.php, index.php then tracks user IP addresses. In the second, server sets cookie then server stores the IP address in the cookie. Now the third step, other page requests. Server returns cookie name and value on all page requests. Points to remember, JavaScript works well with other languages and can be used in a wide variety of applications. There are many open source projects that help developers add JavaScript. There are many JavaScript courses available to help you expand your knowledge of this programming language quickly and easily. Getting started with JavaScript is not difficult. For this reason, many of us prefer to start our IT adventures by learning this language. There is an opportunity to create rich interfaces. And last but not the least is there are several ways to use JavaScript via a node.js server. There are two types of hyperlinks, internal and external. So learners, here are some learning outcomes. This session makes you understand JavaScript cookies, how cookies work, what are the steps and what are the procedures by which browser and server are communicating and exchange information used by the use of cookies. We have understanding about store cookies. I hope that this session is very beneficial for you. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.